going on? Episode number 14. How y'all doing today, man? It's another beautiful day out here in California. It looks like we're getting the, uh, the rain a little later out here. It's still winter and we ain't had like no real rain or nothing like that. So, you know, I guess that's always cool. Um, today in episode 14, we're going to be doing like another repair type video. Um, today, we're going to be working on my sister's SN95 uh, 2001. Uh, Ford Mustang GT. She got the convertible automatic. Uh, she picked the car up and probably, I want to say about two, three, four hours after she picked the car up, which was like four or five months ago. Uh, they're, they're notorious for having the spark plug strip out. So yeah, when she picked the car up, you know, she threw the AC on and, and, and went to hop on the freeway and, and hit it a little bit. And then I guess the spark plug like blew right out of the number four cylinder. Uh, messed the coil up pretty bad and it was a it was really loud you know and it's like the, the loudest exhaust leak because it's right on top of the cylinder that shot the, the uh, spark plug right out of there so it was super loud for a second I thought the motor was blown um, then I seen that the, uh, the boot from that coil was all like melted and all that sort of whatnot um, so I replaced the coil that day and um, I ended up using a lot of uh, Loctite and uh, and a spark plug repair kit from O'Reilly's. You know what I mean? It, it, it kind of worked to get us like, I want to say hundred miles back home. And then after that, it worked for like another two, three months, but it was kind of just like a temporary fix. Um, they got online, if you search in um, 4.6, 5.4 Triton motor uh, spark plug repair kits, they got actual spark plug repair kits um, that are made specifically for this problem. So today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go back over there and um, and I'm gonna check and make sure everything's still tight. You know what I mean? Make sure that spark plug didn't loosen up nothing. All right, so we over here at the car. Go ahead and pop the hood. So yep, here goes a, a 4.6 Ford Mustang. 2001 pretty much all stock the only thing that it does have done is that bbk throttle body which is right there i'm not sure the millimeters on it but i know it's aftermarket the problem that we were having was cylinder number four so to get to the cylinder number four which is all the way in the back the, the furthest back on the passenger side i'm gonna have to take off this intake boot right there so first I'm gonna start with taking off that intake boot. All right, so the first thing we probably gonna do is disconnect this connector right here on the boot, on the injector boot. Gonna go ahead and use the flathead screwdriver to loosen the boot up. It's two, go ahead and pull this is lying out of the boot this off the idle intake valve and then the boot should come off I don't know how tight it is <laughs> so now it's going to get us to this point and as you see it's a new coil in that one that's where our problem was at in this cylinder right here I've since then changed the spark plug the coil and uh re-threaded the hole so yeah i'm gonna probably go ahead and take this and disconnect this injector like so sorry it's so shaky disconnect that injector disconnect the coil coil is disconnected and then i forgot what size this is i think it's like a 5.5 .5 or it's a six or seven. I don't know. I know it's not an eight. It's a little smaller than an eight. So go ahead and we're going to take that off and then the coil should come straight out. All right, so um, I guess it ended up being, a, what's this, a number, a number seven. So it's not a number eight, but it's a number seven. Go ahead and take this off, this bolt off. Only bolt on here for your uh, coil. Got my little, quarter inch ratchet got the bolt don't lose it there she is first coil 
So after you got your cylinder all the way down, you can go ahead and open up the kit. This is what the kit looks like. And the first thing, the first tool that you're gonna use is this tap. And what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of grease on these threads right here. You know, you're putting grease on the thread so that when you tap it down, so when you go to tap it, all the, the shavings won't fall inside of the hole. You know, it'll just, the grease is gonna attract all the metal pieces, like the fine pieces. I've already blew this one off, but as you can see here, there's a little bit of metal there, a little bit of metal there, it's all over the place. But um, you wanna do that so all the metal that, that was on here doesn't fall inside. You know, um, the hole is pretty deep. So they have this handy tool right here, which is uh, an extension. That's your tap, it's a tap extension. You go ahead and put your tap inside of here. Tighten down that, uh, that Allen screw right there and it'll stay nice and solid. The good thing about this, uh, this extension right here is it's just the uh, size of the inner diameter. It's just smaller than the inner diameter. So it'll kind of keep it kind of true as you're tapping it. But you also want to make sure that you got it in there straight because it is like just small enough that you can like tap it cricket. So you, you want to keep it straight and true. And you want to go ahead and uh, tap it tap your cylinder head okay so now that that's done you're ready to put in your spark plug insert which is right here so what you're going to do with your spark plug insert is you want to throw a little loctite i put a lot of loctite on it because i've already i've had one of these fail but that was with a cheaper kit so i went ahead and i threw a bunch of loctite on here all right and you want to take this right here and you screw it all the way down and then I usually grab a U-joint, a 3 8 U-joint for this. It's in my car, it's inside the car right now. I'm gonna take this right here with your red Loctite on there. You're gonna throw it down in the hole. You're gonna cinch it down until it stops. Once it stops, the cool thing about this tool is you'll back it off. Back it off, 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 back it off. Make sure you're, uh, when you're going down, you're going down straight also. And what it's going to be left is it's going to leave this collar inside of your cylinder head. And that right there is the thread pitch for your spark plug hole. And this right here is the thread pitch from this tap. So the tap is going to be bigger, you know, because you got to get this insert in there. And then this is what your spark plug is now going to sit inside of. It's going to sit inside of this. So now at this point, I will grab my spark plug, and, you know, uh, put a little Loctite on the threads and then go ahead and throw my spark plug inside of the insert and at that point you're good to go uh, probably wait like eight nine ten hours to let everything uh you know you know mate together and let the loctite work and you know what i mean you don't want to run the car right afterwards you want to give this stuff a little time to dry and um essentially at this point once you got this collar in here with the loctite and you got your spark plug in there with the uh with the loctite then you're all good to go um let it sit for a little bit and uh that's all she wrote so at this point, you can go ahead and throw your spark plug in. As you guys already know, I've already done all this stuff. I'm just, this is just like the second day. I'm just going back, making sure everything's still tight, did nothing to loosen up or, you know what I mean? Make sure I did it right. So my spark plug should already be tight. Yeah, it's in there pretty good. It's in there pretty good. Go ahead and take it out. Now, one thing that I will say is, like, if you're doing this, when I actually did it, I'm just checking it right now, showing you guys how to use the tools and what I did. I actually disconnected the fuel rail, like from the manifold, just that bolt right there, and then that bolt right there. And I think I took one of these injectors out, you know, just to give me a little room so that I can go like uh, straight inside this hole. Because if you see right here, let me turn the flash on, hold on. So here's the flash on. So yeah, if you can see right here, let's see if I can move some stuff. The hole is at an angle slightly. So there's the hole right there. So get it to focus. There it is. So the hole right there is at an angle. So I had to move the fuel rail so that my tools can fit, you know, directly inside of there. As you can kind of see, like this is in a way right here. So yeah, if you just could disconnect that bolt right there and then this bolt right there then you'll be uh, all good to go as far as, you know, having enough room to get those tools down in there to tap everything. And yeah, like I said, everything's tight. So we're just gonna be buttoning everything back up, you know, putting that intake boot 
back, you know, put that line back in and then the line going to the um, intake idle air control valve, whatever you want to call it. And then this one right here. So once you do all that, we're going to um, we're going to start the car up and uh, see how she runs. See how this sounds. All right, so if you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. Give your boy a like. Go ahead and comment on what you're thinking at this point of the video. If you got any questions. But yeah, at this point, you should be done. You know, the only thing that's left to do is to go ahead and start it up. Make sure you don't have no big exhaust leaks. Start this thing up. Make sure Sound pretty good to me. Yep. So that's how you repair the cylinder heads on a 4.6 or a 5.4 for aluminum V8. You know. Mine's was the one all the way in the back on the passenger side, which is cylinder number four. It could be any one of these. And uh, I think like most of their heads have these problems. So, you know, this kit would be pretty handy to have. If you got a SN95, you know, this kit is probably handy to have just in case, you know, you're ever going to work or wherever, you know, this could happen at any time. So I would definitely keep a, some tools like this in the trunk, you know what I mean? Just in case, because you never know. But yeah, the car's running great on a cold start we're gonna take it out for a test drive right now though see how it's running yeah so it definitely seems like the car is back to its original prime just some little crows i'm gonna sit right here and park get y'all a little look at what the car looks like or whatnot a little sis so definitely needs some new wheels on here so i'm warning y'all now these rims are they gotta go. You know what I'm talking about? It is an automatic with a shift kit. But yeah, we're gonna see what it look like. All right, let's go ahead and hop out. So here's the car. It does need some rims and she needs a wing. She wants to go with a Cobra wing. And I, she's just real undecided right now on her rims. She don't know what she want to do. She does want to block them out though. But yeah, other than those two little minor things, and you know, just probably throwing a wrap on there or getting it painted again, one or the two. Car is in real good condition. I already got the flows on there, so that's cool go to the back one time yeah Shane drove this car and I think what I want to say three four months she purring like a kid right now I can't stop driving it <laughs> you know I'm using these uh, test drives as excuses to be back in a V8 you know what I'm saying these is cool for sure most definitely check out the interior you know got a little CD player in there with the auxiliary cord, leather seats, no rips or nothing or nothing. So that's good, a little cracks, but you know, can't be mad at that. But yeah, man, uh, got a little sis back on the road. I think she's gonna wanna do some upgrades to her. And I think one of her first upgrades, obviously, like I keep saying, that she wanted to do was the wheels. And then after the wheels, I think she went to go with a coat or intake. Um, long tube headers, um, X pipe, 
and then we're gonna see where we're at at that point you know see what else she wants to do um i know she wants to do the bumper front i think front and rear bumper the wing and possibly a different hood not really sure yet but she's trying to go for like a cobra clone type of car so you know we're gonna see how close we can get her to that yeah, it's a good car for sure street life so that's a wrap for this video you know if you made it this far into episode number 14 make sure you give your boy a thumbs up so that other people can see the channel make sure you tell a friend about the channel um, go ahead and comment down below if you comment down on this video you'll get a shout out in the next video so that's how i'm gonna be doing my shout outs for people who comment on the channel basically saying what they want to see uh, rather if they like the video or or whatever you want to say just go ahead and leave a comment down below you know what i'm saying but as for episode number 14 that's gonna be a wrap you know this was for all the mustang owners who got the sn 95s or they got the triton 5.4 they got a 4.6 and something else and they blew a spark plug out grab that tool you know what i'm saying and uh go ahead and rethread everything you won't have to pull the heads and uh this is basically how you get the job done you know what i mean but yeah this is my little sister mustang and uh i'm gonna drop a little golden nugget for y'all man um your boy got a coyote so you know what I mean? Stay tuned for that. You know what I mean? Let me just get a like just for your boy having a coyote, man. So, hey, man, y'all have a good day, man. Episode number 14 with y'all street life.